Hi again, folks. It's Rick from the Boondocking Bears. I'm going to switch it up a little bit this time. I usually post videos to entertain or inform folks. This time, it's about the RV lifestyle, and I got a bit of an issue. I was hoping to get some feedbacks from everybody in the comments section, and it's regarding carrying a scooter with me full time. I've been looking at various types of towed vehicles for our RV adventure, and I still haven't decided whether I'm going class A, B, C, or a fifth wheel. Well, not B, that's out. So I started thinking about a towed vehicle. And one of the things I thought about was I didn't really want to carry a car with me if I could avoid it. Uh, did I really need one? And I started looking at motorcycles. Well, I've never ridden a motorcycle. It's not something I'm into. And then we thought of uh, little scooters. First electric ones, kind of ruled those out. And then the small, like the Zuma 125 scooter. Uh, to carry along, to go through the back roads, maybe in the deserts of Arizona or whatever. Just a fun thing. Well, from there, it's grown into, maybe we should uh, look at a full-size scooter. And in particular, the one I found that I like is the Suzuki Bergman 400. And my thinking is, this thing will do 125 miles an hour. I will never go that high. Believe me, trust me. And I'll take my motorcycle course and I'll get my license and all that stuff. I'll get outfitted with all the safety gear. But my thinking was, do I really need to carry a car with me if I have this thing? I can get lots of storage on there. If I'm going to do a major shopping, well, I can just take the, uh, the RV and do it. But for most little things, I mean, I could pack in two, three, maybe even four bags of groceries into the to the top bag, the saddle bags, all the under seat storage. There's a lot of room in this thing. And I could go on the highways if I wanted to. Not my first choice, don't want to go there. But the idea is I can uh, pack bear onto the back of it, little bear, uh, put him in a crate, get him a Snoopy scarf, a couple of goggles, and uh, we can go off and tour for the day, have some fun, go to the beach, whatever we're gonna do. Or I can just take it and go for a ride. It's not too big, it's not too small. It kind of covers everything except, you know, it's not a dirt bike. I'm not going to take it out into the gravel of the uh, BLM lands in, in Arizona. But I thought, do I really need a car uh, if I have this thing? And I'm really betwixt and between. I don't know which I want to do at this point. So I'm kind of looking at some options and, and I actually thought of asking you folks. what If you've had experience with a, a full-size scooter and you RV, what do you think? Should I just go with the scooter? Should I have a toad and carry the scooter with me? Um, betwixt and between, as I said. So any feedback you can give me uh, would be great. I would love it. Uh, I'm certainly inclined to do just the scooter. And you know, if a year down the road it doesn't working out, I guess I could buy a, a car and put a, a, a drag it behind me uh, with the scooter. Maybe even downside the scooter if I wanted to. I don't know. But what do you think? Uh, I like the idea. I need some feedback.